Nebeka beka ana ela a asogo na hosi kai ut ate to nebeka ge to tashka ge a asogo da si ba zela ne ne ge One of the great American war stories belongs to the Navajo code talkers whose secret military code helped the Marines in battles throughout the Pacific during World War II, helping bring an end to the world's deadliest war. Some 400 Navajo men enlisted, only a few remain. We must find a way to preserve their story for future generations and build on the Navajo Code Talkers' traditions of heroism, bravery, and respect. The Navajo Code Talkers Foundation, a 501c3 organization, is working to create a museum and veterans center, a 40,000 square foot facility here on this plateau, in the middle of the four sacred mountains, in the heart of the Navajo Nation. We want to remember this and build this place up so that the future generation would learn by it of what we did during the Second World War. The center will tell their story accurately with complete historical detail here on the land and in the culture the Navajo Code Talkers called home. It means a lot. It means a great deal, educationally, historically, and for our young people to understand and remember the veterans, especially Native Americans and especially the Navajo generations. It was the only unbroken code in modern military history. Every enlist vocabulary that is listed in the project has a Navajo coded Navajo name. Just like a uh, armored tank, turtle, uh, is a Navajo name for it. A fighter plane, hummingbird, those are common coded names for some of the vocabularies. Vital to the success of every major battle in the Pacific, from Guadalcanal to Okinawa, the unbreakable code helped embattled Marines communicate quickly, concisely, and securely. Simply put, the Navajo code talkers saved countless lives. They've done a lot of things in, in, in behalf of Native American all over. And being Navajos, I'm very proud of them, and I'm very proud to be Navajo too, so. These are the unsung, forgotten heroes of World War II because of their communications code. They possibly won the war for us against Japan. Navajo people, especially the young people, are always searching for an identity, and that's just their perfect role models and utilizing their, our language and uh, them as being as gentlemen, and today as gentlemen grandparent figures, they're heroes. Heroes who must be remembered. The Museum and Veterans Center is a multifaceted building plan that envisions a unique experience, reflective of the history and significance of the Navajo Code Talker's role in the outcome of World War II. One of these concepts will be built. It will take over $40 million, and your tax-deductible donation will help. The story will be told in compelling detail through an immersive learning environment, powerful interactive exhibits and activities, living demonstrations of the Navajo code and culture in the larger perspective of modern history. The museum and integrated education programs will serve as the national repository for the once secret military voice code and the ingenuity of the Navajo code talkers. My initial battle, I was uh, frightened, I guess, afraid or something, you know, wonder. You at least uh, ask the Almighty if, uh, to, to spare you, you know. I served with the Battle of Iwo, 38 days on the Iwo Jima of hell. We lost uh, two coat talker the first day, and then three were wounded. So there were 33 of us out of that. What's left of us, we went through and came home. 
A state-of-the-art veteran center will provide integrated services, resources, and opportunities for all armed services veterans, active military personnel, and their families. A place to visit or drop by and enjoy authentic stories, memorabilia, souvenirs, local cuisine, and collectibles. The project will ensure a strong base in the Navajo language so future generations receive the wisdom of tradition to help future generations learn pride in who they are, to have purpose and respect for one another. They chose this site specifically because it was on a hill and it reminded them of Mount Saribachi. And it's along Highway 264 and Highway 264 has been renamed to Navajo Code Talkers Highway by the state of New Mexico. Over three million visitors come to the region every year, visiting the nearby national parks like Monument Valley, Petrified Forest, and Canyon de Chez. Close to those great destinations, the museum expects up to 300,000 visitors per year. I stand before you as a descendant of a co talker and I'm 52 years old. And I think about my children and my grandchildren, and. Uh, the legacy of the Navajo Code Talkers, that needs to continue, that needs to live. There needs to be a place where the memorabilia, where the, the story, when that can be uh, given to future generations of our people. We must all remember and work to preserve this legacy. Through numerous acts of sacrifice and heroism, the Navajo Code Talkers of World War II have provided us all a selfless example of valor, sacrifice, and service. Support us. Support the Navajo Code Talkers uh, endeavors because it is something for the future generation historically and educationally and patriotically.